Welcome to the video everybody to Warhammer Bore Day. That's what I called it cuz does anyone really find these uh product placement streams that Warhammer does any more entertaining or exciting when it comes to the products? They're almost always boring as hell. I mean, it at least had product, I guess. So it wasn't as bad as the roadmap stream, but good Lord above, was this something of a mediocre stream, at least in my opinion. Let me know if you disagree. So, let's start by talking about a couple of the things that came out. I was going to do a video about the cost of 40k. Not like in pri like actual monetary value, but what you exchange to be involved in the hobby. But these products really make some bad issues when it comes to when I want to make an argument and I look at this and I'm like, this is kind of an argument against it, but let's continue on before I ramble anymore. Let's start with Warhammer Underworlds. Um, am I the only guy that thinks that the uh, the dude, um, the Stormcast guy, looks like the main, one of the actors from Last of the Mohicans? Is that just me? Eh, maybe they're dipping into that market? I don't know. It's it just, just an odd observation. But, um, it's Stormcast in their slimmed up, less, even more generic form somehow. Congratulations, Games Workshop. You found a way to be more generic with these guys. Um, versus uh, Skaven. And, really, did it need a new addition? Um, I just, I, I don't know. I, I've never met anyone who plays it cares about it or seen p pretty much any major stockings of it my one store did have some of it stocked and then they got rid of all of it so i just don't understand but let me know if this is something that you're into and looking forward to and why um but eh, eh. let's uh let's move on so, uh, let's see. We got Slaves to Darkness. A faction that you'd think I'd care about because I actually like the Chaos Warriors and I thought they had some pretty good uh, redesigns in the launch for Age of Sigmar, even though I don't care for Age of Sigmar that much. But boy, could they have made a more boring tome for the Slaves to Darkness? It's just kind of... Like two low energy dudes behind an unhelmeted guy who looks like he's a little miffed that is uh, his freaking order at Subway didn't come in as he wanted. Uh, I don't know. The cover just does nothing to really exude any energy or excitement about it. It's kind of like a shopping trip to Wendy's. I, I just don't know. Then we got good old Sorcerer Skeletor, Meah, no passing here. The Crossing Guard Sorcerer, um, what the hell? <laughs> um, I, I mean, I don't hate him, but I don't love him, and I'm definitely not gonna buy him. Um, I'm really, really not sure what the appeal of him is. I mean, I could see some people converting him into a Nurgle. Uh, sorcerer he's got the the kind of looks you add some more rust the right colors a little bit of the touches and bam Nurgle sorcerer but eh, is anybody super excited about this release for the the chaos guys because it feels really really low energy really it's not really grabbing me like uh, some of the initial re releases for them again I don't hate it but I mean, I enjoy doing the Skeletor voice, Meow! but, um, yeah, it just doesn't do anything for me. Um, I, I think they didn't bring their A game and pff, I don't care about the Doff Rocky, the Dakota and the Barbarian knockoffs are, I'm not going to even talk about them. So I'm sorry if you, you like them, thumbs up, but I, I ain't wasting time with them. So moving on. We got brutal and cunning and not very intelligent to already be shoving out another box right after you released your Killzone new rules box. I mean, 
holy hell we're getting a new expansion air quotes heavy quotes for kill team in a box in a box form already and i don't know i i kind of dig the orcs but you know i, I like orcs so thumbs up but the ratlings do absolutely nothing for me because i hate the halflings in warhammer fantasy and i don't like the ratlings in 40k so meh i mean the orcs are cool but i don't see the incentive to buy the box especially especially after they put that pricey freaking box out fairly recently with a pretty steep price on it i'm i don't know i just don't see the value for it i mean i guess you could make an argument for the terrain but you know i think most people could make terrain on at least representory of this minor of a level themselves i mean you don't have to have it as detailed you just need to make some walls and there's ways to do it without that kind of price tag for plastic uh, so i give it a passable grade it's a c minus 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 but it's not getting the uh, first dibs in the raid i'm just sorry it's not brutal or cunning and uh, lastly, Legion's Imperialis, Rise of the Dark Mechanicum. Oh, it's letting us know the Dark Mechanicum are coming out for Horus Heresy. Because, um, again, this, this game is a dead game in my area, so it doesn't mean anything to me. Nor did I have really any interest in epic scale games. Um, and the fact that the artwork that they put up, air quotes and the cover of it are literally a 28 millimeter version of the units they put out in imperialis so cool we got a night level or size dark mechanicum thing and i'm guessing they're just going to use the tech frawls just like the normal mechanicum which makes me slightly worried about how much effort they're going to put into the dark mechanicum but hey, you know, maybe it's just tech frauls and, you know, they're not going to be that, that lazy. Who knows? You know, it is Games Workshop. But um, I watched this uh, entire thing and I'm actually skipping over the battle box or battle force boxes because I didn't care for any of them. Of uh, the towel, if you at pressed me, I think is the best one out of the mix. Um, the rest of them, I just don't care for them that much. Um, none of them really grabbed me. Even the the Dark Angels box, I was like, oh, that's a lot of Terminators. Then I kind of remember the Terminators are basically monopose effectively. And I don't care about the uh, Inner Knights of Purple. And... Uh, Forest Walker just doesn't do it for me. I, I, I he, he's not Lionel Johnson. He's his, uh, his twin, Joe Johnson. <laughs> Sorry, bad joke. But um, this was a really unimpressive uh event. Uh, it it didn't do anything to really hype up any excitement. I mean. I could understand if people are a particular fan of one thing, they might get excited, but the rest of it is just kind of like, eh, low energy, the least amount of investment, or it's something that's going to cost a fortune, like that brutal and cunning box, eh. Also, what kind of priorities do they have in their marketing team? Shouldn't they have put out, like, that spider siege breaker thing? Um... For when they put out the, the the Martian Civil War book instead of having it come out way after and basically be revealed in Legion Imperialis. I, I, I just don't understand this marketing strategy. And honestly, none of the things shown during this stream. I mean, there's a Stormcast reveal of stuff that I don't care about because they're dull and boring. Uh, and they're not even really good Thunder Warrior uh, 
kit bash material anymore, which is kind of sad. It's it's just a, a giant meh. It was boring, effectively. Um, I just... I, what can I say in a quantitative manner? Do I feel that any of these products on offer are of the quality of what they're going... Or quality to what they're going to ask in price? Hell no! I don't think any of it is really grabbing their audience. I, does any of it actually resolve any of the things that their audience wants? Do we need another uh, orc random kill team? Do we need another imperial related kill team? I mean, when you need to basically... Here's a good idea. Why don't you come up with a multi-part orc boy kit that you can make all shooters or all choppers and aren't monopos if you're supposedly the greatest miniature company on earth. But, you know, instead you're going to make that unit, which it's fine. They're kind of cool, but eh. It, it all comes down to you're getting more restrictions, getting less options for a higher price tag, and I'm the guy that people think is an idiot for saying they're not providing something worth your dollar. You can disagree with me and purchase things, and that is perfectly all right if that's what you want to do with your money. I just think they should be offering better and more, and every one of these items on, on offer just seems boring and lazy. And it makes me wonder what the hell they were thinking. And, of course, you know, I'm going to complain about this probably to a small degree. I'm going to talk about the melee kit that they put out for Horus Heresy. And the new Votan Exo guys. Uh, and just relate to what the cost of 40k is. So, if you enjoy that, join me for that tomorrow and have a lovely day.